everybody, Dara here with Diamond in the Rough Resale. It is a Saturday and I am on my way into this resale shop. This is um, Twice Nice or Nice Twice, Nice Twice Resale Shop here in Grand Rapids. It's on 28th Street, kind of close to Ivanrest, near where the bins are. So I'm going to go in and see what I can find. Well, the music in here really wasn't that loud, but there were quite a few people in here and I get self-conscious talking to myself. I like that quilling. That was a really pretty, very well done floral quilling picture. I liked it. Hey, look at this. There's another one of these frosted compotes. This one, $5, not the nine that the other one was. I did still pass on that. I liked the blue one better. <laughs> that was pretty, but meh. Being selective, trying to get really low priced pretty things. Like I said before, I am trying to focus more on things that are in my selling items in my booth. Those were cool. But at a dollar each, I wasn't going to do that. I think there were like six of them. Hmm. These are all the dish sets. Really pretty stuff. I really like these. They're just Mikasa and they don't sell that well, but I think they're so pretty. I like that stoneware look with the vintage flower colors. We've got some more sets over here. I like this apple set. Hmm. There's this little dish up here for a dollar. I almost got this one, but I wasn't sure. It wasn't marked and it kind of reminded me of, oh, what did it remind me of? Um, Nippon kind of, but I wasn't sure and I wasn't really feeling it, I guess. Really nice sets and this place is priced really well. I mean, some of their things are strangely priced high. Like, why is this like eight dollars but <laughs> you can find some really great stuff their furniture is a bit up there I saw a vase over here I wanted to take a peek at this green one up here it looked good from a distance but I got closer up and you can see that it's just not very well done it's not very detailed and the crazing is of course fake and there was this tray. I keep picking things up upside down to read them. And you see that was a newer one as well with a vintage look. Go back to my cart. Continue walking through. That pink couch was really fun. Mm. I liked that mirrored tray, but it wasn't for sale. Display only. I was like, come on, sell it to me. I've seen these baskets all over the place, so I know they're not hard to come by. And that was only a buck fifty, and I maybe could have picked it up, but nah. This was cool, too. Only nine dollars for that set, and it was milk glass, and it looked old. And then there's these. 250? Mm, who makes it? Ah, look at that, it's Royal Copley. I'll take that, thank you much. <laughs> and there's another one up here. Identical, but you see this one does have some chipping in the finish, so I left that one behind. Checking out the other stuff. That melt glass punch that I did leave behind. I just wasn't sure. Like, my brain tells me that punch sets don't do very well, but... Maybe that milk glass one would have. Maybe it was special. I didn't even look for a maker. Huh. I should go back Saturday. See if it's there. Look at this. It was adorable. It's like thumbprint. King's crown. Three fifty, and they put the sticker right on the flash. I guarantee the flash will come off when I take that sticker off. So I left that. And I love these old juice containers. What was it, a dollar? I think it was a dollar. Hmm. I think they're cute. 
Got some vases, some plain clear glass, more plain clear ga glass. This was pretty. It was just like a vintage pressed glass for a buck fifty, and it's clear, but I like the shape of it. That tulip top was really pretty. Yeah, some office stuff and arts and crafts, and there's a pretty frame. And what, what did I grab here? I think this was a luster. Yeah, this was like a depression glass thingy without a lid. Pretty, but no. <laughs> I've got some really nice stuff here, and I like the way they set it up. This one, also a dollar, this little dish. Also unmarked, but I like the look of this one better. So I did grab that. Hmm. Yeah, we got some... Oh, goodness, St. Patrick's Day stuff over here, and then some little figurines, and that little wooden fisherman dude. My brother collects those. Well, the bigger ones, and I buy them when I find them, if he doesn't have it yet. She was cute, but I'm just not a fan of bells. I see them everywhere. Hey, that was a cute crock. I should have looked at that. I like the colors over here. That's one of my favorite colors, that like teal aqua color. Love that color. And I had abandoned my cart, so I will go back to it and go down another row. Hmm. Got some Tupperware stuff and we got some more just random dishes. Not complete sets. You see another little anchor hocking chip and dip. This would have had a bracket to put the dip bowl on top of the chip bowl. And I've sold two of those in my booth in the past for like 15, but I don't buy them if they don't have the bracket. Hmm. Hmm. Clear glass, green glass, dime a dozen glass. Crock-pot innards. What's this? Oh, this was cool. This was so delicate. So lightweight and dainty. And you could see it's an oil lamp. You would have put a wick thing in there to light the glass candle. But I did not grab it. It didn't have the wick holder thingy. This is cool, and um, it's Norwegian. A little picture. It doesn't resell for that much. I did look it up later. Hmm. Some more ceramics and glass. And, oh, look at this. It's a little Tupperware butter dish. That was 50 cents, and I did grab that. And these pickle containers, they always smell like pickle. I do have one. <laughs> this little guy. I thought maybe he was a Czechoslovakian bird, but he was made in Japan, and he didn't have a price sticker on him. I liked him, but I did put him back. Cute. <laughs> This little picture thing. And this little thing. Kind of boring. This is cool. This is an old apple corer slash peeler. Suction cups to your counter and you peel it. I left it. My kids like apples with the peel on, which I like, because that's where the nutrients are. Even though they tend to eat only half of it and leave the rest on the floor, or on the couch, or in their rooms. These are neat bowls. I had, have? I don't know if I brought it to my booth yet, but I did leave those behind, but I had another big bowl, just like that. 
that I'm taking down to my booth. I don't know why I left those behind. I think they're cool. Mm. Some boring coffee mugs. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> I can't resist this little thing. Spring colors and this little cat. It's a Holland Mold little cat tray thingy. And it was a dollar, so I grabbed it. A little tin that wasn't old. Lamps. Like super, super purple vase. And there's this thingy. Party light. Nah. <laughs> that thing has been there for months because it's broken. Here we've got some cherished teddies, a little circus set for 15. This is a cool crock. You can tell it's old, but I left that. It was a bit too high of price. I think it was like 10. Little owl was cute, but he also did not have a price sticker. So yeah, I left him too. Some Valentine stuff. This stuff again. Where was I going? I think I missed. There were people in that aisle, so I missed this next aisle where I'm going. Oop. That's pretty. Made in Poland. Two fifty though, and it's just one. So, nope. Some other vases. Am I grabbing something? Yes, look at this guy. This one is from Czechoslovakia. He was $4. And that was just a little more than I wanted to pay for him. I do have a few more of those. I have a bird of paradise and like a parrot. They were in my eBay shop, but they weren't moving, so I'm putting them in my booth instead to see if they do better. Hmm, what am I looking at over here? Oh yes, this. Made in occupied Japan, hand painted, and I liked it so much. But then I noticed as I was putting it in my cart that there was a chip out of the side there, and it looked from the underside like there was also a crack underneath that chip. So I did put that back. Oh, there's that bird again. Hmm. Kitty! <laughs> this little white kitty cat. It is an Avon perfume bottle. And people are saying that Avon is going to make a comeback, but I'm still not tr not trying to buy it. <laughs> this thing was cute, and it was 50 cents. And it's missing something. I don't know what, but I liked it, so I grabbed it. Because I like cats. Don't I, Roxy? <laughs> that was neat. No lid. Ooh, over here in the antiques area. These are actually priced pretty well. I mean, they've got some really old stuff, although this little tea set has been here forever. This thing though, wow, $3.50. Beautiful hat pin holder. It's got some hat pins in it. And check it out, RS Germany. Hmm. <laughs> some other really pretty things over here. Old bottles and old crocs. Some hand-painted stuff. That was a big set. No lid. Oh gosh, pretty colors though, right? That's really sweet. You got a little sugar dish. It does have the lid, which is nice. And this bell, this is a little Fenton bell. Cute. Seven bucks though. No, not for a Fenton bell. Sorry. A little tidbit tray. And of course the depression glass. This was really cool. It's the opalescent ruffle frill thingy. Five dollars. Oh. I thought about it, but I didn't end up getting it. Probably should have. It was really pretty. 
And I like these colors up here. This was really pretty. Like carnival glass. And then there's this frosted pink compote set, or console set. That was pretty. <laughs> Just appreciating the beauty here, really. Yeah, but this frosted set was gorgeous. But what was it? 29? Yeah, 29 for the set. Well worth it for somebody looking for something like that? Absolutely, but not for me for resale. Not today. And we got some other vintage stuff over here. This was a set that they had selling as a set, even though it didn't really look like it matched each other. A little teal bowl over here. Yeah, little dragonware. Moriage teapot. pretty but chipped see chipped on the spout hmm it was pretty too high price though it was like 20 or something like that just reading that hmm Really great stuff. Great, so I picked up a lot of good things. Um, it's not gonna tell me how many, but <laughs> some good stuff. That RS Prussia hat pin holder, oh my gosh. There's that McCoy canister thing. I mean, I don't know how much McCoy goes for, but a $2 McCoy canister, I will certainly put that in my booth or eBay, who knows, I don't even know. But my total spend was $21.73. So we will do a haul a little later and you'll see everything that I actually grabbed.